happens. Yeah. You need to break yeah. yourself yeah. up if you want to speculate. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
euro dollar I would sell and euro gen I would buy so why let me shortly explain come on guys yes okay here we are here we go even uh, even we've got here uh, oh, put it on a paper what did you down one minute where it is here it is okay euro dollar euro uh, euro dollar I would sell at this price area you would then buy even cause uh, the euro uh, should be a little bit under pressure uh, economic data this week bond action Spain uh, bond yields is around about six and uh, yeah the economic pressure is is perhaps too much too much and we will see and perhaps the market will reflect this but uh, who knows we will see however analyze this stuff again it's yours and the main reason or the main question is of course uh, is the sentiment lower than the economic data or are the markets or are the yes FX traders are we all too pessimistic for the euro that's the name of the game the name of the game and uh, yeah data will give, give us an, a direction uh, I'm hoping here so for the euro dollar euro gen we've got a great direction until now until now so and by the way why euro dollar uh, is is more on side trade trend and and if the euro dollar if the euro should get under pressure in the next days weeks uh, the euro gen should uh, should in my opinion go at least under pressure even cause the yen is much more under pressure not only from technical view as I said here in my last uh, uh, video on Friday and uh, so if you want worse versa versus so uh, I would slightly prefer the dollar then the euro and then the gen by the major three so however let's go uh, let's break it down to a point and I want to give you into any capability here in the euro, here in the euro gen and the first what I'm what I saw or what I'm painting here inside is uh, still this price area from last week here as I'm paid it here I'm thinking my German edition so we uh, got here this uh, this upside trend and are still uh, since Thursday still in a downside trend yet you are back in a downside trend so and by the way here we see the high uh, the FIBO lines uh, the trading sessions of course here in medium C green gen euro and here this uh, this slightly here we are yes this slightly price area here we see from last week uh, start of last week and we see here last week this was here something like um, uh, uh, turnaround formation so after my something like a buy area and my hope is or my calculation is today that we've got this also this week perhaps so so by the way I would giving you today a um, trading long capability in the euro gen even a hedge to the euro dollar short capability so so I'm tied in the if you want in the euro so but step by step okay here we are and interesting point in my opinion is also that we are here on the yearly basis here round about the 50 price 50 high low 
of the actuality is this the month or the year it's the yearly yes it's the yearly oh, yes come back yes it's the yearly high low and the uh, round about the 50 50 uh, 50 percent high low area so okay here and we've got here this if you want something like a WV formation <laughs> yes WV formation if you want and we are here trading something like a uh, above, uh, above it here so we've got here this week or yes at the start of the week here perhaps a great uh, sell-off at the start of the week and perhaps higher prices uh, while uh, while Asia or Europe trading session so I would still use this price area here we are it's round about one uh, 105.585 of course and the lower side it's round about come on at the 50 uh, 50 high low FIBO line and this is 105.33 so 20-30 pips stop I would create right here right now okay uh, break it down also to the uh, to the actuality month and we see here we've got new high new lows today at Wall Street trading session we created uh, an also in the end new lows and then we've got this massive upside trend so here by the way so. not Wall Street this, uh, this was excuse me end of the European session of course so European session at Wall Street here we've go higher and then we are trading a little bit lower so okay so interesting for me for me is of course this downside trend from Thursday here Thursday uh, uh, yes oh it's Friday by the way here but here Friday Central European time this upside trend and we are still a little bit above so okay and here are the weekly uh, monthly lows so so here we see uh, the weekly side uh, the weekly timeline or the weekly uh, high lows so and we are trading right here right now at the 76.4 FIBO line a little bit above it so in the last trading box price time trading box if you want so okay okay much more interesting perhaps then this week here we are high lows are uh, the week of uh, last week perhaps and we see we are trading here a little bit a little bit above it so one reason again why I would prefer the long side is perhaps or the question is of course did we saw here yesterday the sell off at the start of the week here we are touching live 76 line right here right now trading uh, trading on it of this week here back on this chart now we are we've got here a little bit pressure and we've got a little bit perhaps and sell off let's watch the five minute chart here here we see right here right now but later to this come on come back here we are okay here uh, of last week so so and the question is of course or what I'm asking me or the trading calculation is here that we are uh, yeah we've got here in support of the low of last week and the question is uh, is that this area or yesterday was something like a sell-off in the Eurogen at the start of the week so we will see this in the next 48 hours of course so that's the calculation of this trade 
or the screening capability. By the way, I'm painting here inside the start and the close of the European session and then we've got here something like an upside trend here. Here we see. So, and this upside trend even I would use uh, for, an, uh, for an entry or for a stop if you want. So, by the way, so, and I would create the stop here, by the way. So, here, here we see it. And, by the way, I would uh, be very carefully, very aware of the area of yesterday here. As, uh, as I said, or the quest, main question is, uh, or was, here, mm, come back, here, yes. Here we see uh, the lows of last week. So, and the question is, of course, is was this a sell-off? And here I'm painting here the lows of this week. So if we uh, so if we break here up or down, by the way, come on, guy. Now, here we are. Yes. Okay, here once again. At the start of the end of the Wall Street session. Here. So, and here this trading area, or this trading place. So, uh, be very careful, because if we uh, break here down, create a stop. I would create a stop here at the close of European session, round about at least one one oh five point zero two seven by my broker so fifty pips more or less so so uh, and if we are fall a little bit lower by the way come let's I'm painting too much let's clear the trading session Here, okay. So, I would create here a stop, and even hoping that the upside trend, even from the European session, will hold us in the next days. By the way, we are we've got also uh, resident or support here with this line, and this line is also very long. We see it here from last month. If we zoom back here, before we've got the highs, it was the week last week in. Uh, March before we creating ear highs and here got even this downside trend. So very interesting area. By the way, here on the five minute charts we broke this downside trend. But a little bit later more about the bigger time frame. So come on, come back. So interesting my opinion the trading capability to break it down to a point. I would prefer the long side at uh, 1938 New York time Monday evening. So 105.50, take the stop by 105. So, and if we uh, uh, come back to the lows of last week, so that's in my opinion up here 143, 105, 43. I would still uh, uh, go long. So, so by the way, I hope you understand. Uh, you could follow my conclusion. Also, I would prefer the long side. Take the stop here, and if we are come back above 105.43, I would go long again. So, so okay. So, okay, by the way, here, come back, okay, here we are, so, okay, so 50 pip stop and we will see what will happen. So, by the way, let's zoom a little bit, here we are, here we go, here we see the uh, start of the European session, close. And we are still in a pretty upside trend, 5 minutes basis, 
but of course everybody's waiting here for the Tokyo first session. So morning. Okay. As I said before, much more interesting for the Euro Gen or uh, for the Euro at himself are the economic data. And so let's I wanna give you a uh, watch a little bit bigger time frame of the 50 minutes for example and we see here we are on very interesting uh, point so here we see the 50 minutes uh, uh, target by the way uh, 50 minutes data <coughs> excuse me by the way here are the next data so in four and a half hours <coughs> or 450 rise industrial production from uh, from Japan from Japan Japanese household confidence in five hours <coughs> <coughs> and tomorrow morning much more interesting data core CPI in Europe CPI and the German ZTV economic index so uh, that uh, will uh, push or pull the euro in one direction tomorrow morning Central European time or this morning Central European time by the way EZP President Draghi will speak today also and the, and, uh, the day after so um, Wednesday we will also get current account from Europe and then the night from uh, Wednesday to Thursday Central European time or Wednesday evening uh, Wednesday night Thursday night in, uh, in New York uh, BOJ governor Shirakawa will speak trade balance will come out and on Thursday morning Central European time 10 year bond action from Spain so by the way Spain's climbed around about 6 or uh, above 6 today Confuser da con consumer confidence will also go out on uh, Thursday and Friday night, Thursday, Friday night, we will get uh, industrial activity and German PPI on Friday morning and German IPO climate, of course. So, very interesting data, by the way. Okay, so, and that will give us a direction in the Euro, uh, not only in the Euro Gen, but uh, no, in the Euro, of course. And we will see uh, how the market react, even as I said at the start of this video uh, are the sentiment lower than the economic output so are we if you want uh, are we traders in this context are behind the economic curve if you want economic data or before and that I'm thinking will give us even a pull or a push in the euro in the next days or this week by the way in the end of the week are also G20 meeting, IMF meeting and will, will also have perhaps an influence on uh, end of the week or start of the next week. So let's break it down to the technical analysis. Uh, so uh, uh, as I said after 5 minute starts, much more interesting are the 50 minute charts in my opinion. Here we see the 50 minute charts and the 50 minute charts here we see uh, the downside trend. Uh, uh, much better here the last uh, end of end of March here the highest start of March start of April and then the pressure the downside pressure in the Eurogen or the uprise in the gen if you want and interesting are these lines in my opinion so I'm painting here some lines here we see the downside trend here on this line and interesting fact is here we broke the line last week so we broke the line last week and here uh, why I'm why I said before in the five minute charts why this is so important for me here the one the one or five point four thirty line yes I said in the five minute charts here we are the five minute charts here we are right here now a little bit above it or here I see it also so that's the question so if we've got here support on this line also compare with this uh, with this slightly price channel if you want so so here we are it was a low under this price levels so 
if we hold we've got here something and great as I said W reformation so here in the 50 line here yes so here where we are in the 15 it's in W so great W formation so that's the name of the game so and I also painted here as we broke this line here here we've created two highs two highs here here we've got perhaps the last sell-off in this cross rate from 106 so until 1044 okay so we will see very interesting the Eurogen very interesting so by the way here also the time frames here the daily moving average on the 15 basis here the three days and the five days so perhaps with uh, we will get here something like a consolidation here between this and the first target should be here perhaps the outbreak the outbreak and the evidence of this W formation so and don't forget as I said here don't forget the stop at round about 105 cause here uh, don't paint it here inside 105 if you want let's paint here 105 0 2 by the way so so because uh, if we if the euro uh, get under pressure, uh, I don't accept it so much. Could be a price action above 104.60 could also be a great uh, short opportunity. So, but that's the next step. I don't don't accepting that or calculating with with this. By the way, I'm still thinking that could hold this upside trend here from yesterday's European session could hold so could hold here and we see in the euro gen higher prices so okay however analyze this stuff again it's still yours and uh, yes be aware be aware in the euro this week and watching the data and uh, be aware of the reaction of the markets are the sentiment or the accept acceptation of the market uh, beaten or not and the data at, at, at itself because the data at itself are not so good for the euro of course uh, yes not so good as I said I would slightly prefer the dollar than the euro and then the gen of the three majors however analyze the stuff again it's still yours my name is still Damagaj from Godot Germany you're welcome every day uh, every day and yeah it's Monday evening 1948 <coughs> of course central P uh, New York time Hmm. 1948 in New York time on Monday the 16 April 2012 good morning good day and good night wherever and whenever you're watching my phone signals info show talking to you tomorrow by Wall Street session bye bye guys